No, I do not believe you being saved is enough. Now let me explain it a little more of kind of what I'm thinking and kind of my thought process. By faith alone, we will be in heaven. By faith alone, you have received eternal life. Like by faith alone. Now my issue is, I don't think that is enough. And you say, what do you mean? And you're saying, Kevin, you sound like a heretic. Where is this coming from? Well, my reasoning is, faith, what is it? Now you're saying it's believing in Jesus Christ. Well, we know even the demons believe. So faith isn't enough. You understand that, right? They even acknowledge his power. So faith can be enough. So what is faith? You see, David and Saul, this is a great explanation one of my professors brought up. Them two, just right in front of us. David commits a pretty crazy crime. Pretty crazy crime. Takes advantage of a woman. Takes advantage, sounds crazy, because she definitely knew what she was doing. But you're a king. Does she really have an option to say no? Her man's in war, you kill the man. Saul's crimes that he committed were one, performed a sacrifice that he shouldn't have committed. God told him, you know, you need the prophets to do the sacrifices. What David does to a woman is a pretty big deal. Saul performs a sacrifice he shouldn't do. He doesn't destroy everything when he conquers some land. Oh, and he's just taken away. He, 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 he's not allowed like to keep reigning over Israel. So what is the difference in God's eyes? What does God view differently? We know he views our heart more. We know that. David was a man after God's own heart. But how is he a man after God's own heart when he commits such a crazy crime? When he does something so outrageous? Well, the difference is, and even Saul confesses of his sin. Saul confesses. But when they repent, there is a complete difference. A complete difference in their actions. David repents and his actions change. Saul repents and it keeps going. You see, the way you live matters. What I'm trying to get at is faith is not enough. You can believe in God. I believe Saul believed in God, but he did not believe in the power of God. You can believe in Jesus, but that isn't enough. Do you believe that he resurrected and conquered sin? Do you believe that? I feel like sometimes the way we live, we don't believe that. Now, this is just the part one of me wanting to make you think. Is being saved enough? I don't think it is, and here's why. Once you are saved, I believe the way you live after matters. Wholeheartedly, it matters the way you live. It has to matter. There's no way it doesn't. If we're supposed to be set apart from this earth, if he conquered sin, why do I have to live in sin still? If he conquered sin, why are you living in sin still? Oh, it's just, it's an evil world, Kevin. Then why did he die? If it's an evil world and you were always gonna sin, why did he die for you? Everyone watching, I want you to turn to 1 Peter, 14, 16. First Peter 14, 16. I'm going to read out of the NLT. Just pause it. You go over there. Turn. Here we go. We're in it. Don't slip back into your old ways of living to satisfy your own desires. You didn't know any better then. That's what it says. You didn't know any better then. But now you must be holy in everything you do. Just as God who chose you is holy. For the scriptures say, you must be holy because I am holy. God, you must be holy because he is holy, is what scripture is saying. I believe the term holy is living a life set apart for God. It doesn't say you should. It doesn't say you should try, you can, or whatever. It doesn't say that. It says you must be holy. You must be holy. He is holy. You must be like him. So, I'm not trying to get at that you need to be perfect. And so what does that word holy mean? 
I believe holy is living a life set apart for God, for His will. Does not mean you're perfect, does not mean perfection, does not mean any of those things. I will explain more in the next video. But I want you to ponder on the thought of your life matters. Faith without works is dead. That's more scripture. You can have faith all you want, but if your life does not reflect the Savior, then what type of faith is that? You let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, subscribe. I know we're going to have the debates in there, so go. Alright, see y'all later.